Hey everybody, this is Dracula, and I'm going to show you everything I know about Blast Rifle. Hope you enjoy it. Alright, so I'm over here at uh, Happy Pal Farm. There's a supplies vendor. Let me show you where it is. Right here. Happy Pal. And uh, the supplies vendor here has a Votan blast rifle. I'm going to use this to show you uh, all I know about blast rifles. Let me go ahead and buy it. Now I'm going to go to Iron Demon Ranch where we have the automatic mod vendor. So this is Iron Demon Ranch and that right there is the automatic mods vendor. This gives you basic mods with basic synergies, um, and they're all green, so they're pretty weak mods, but I can show you the different uh, types of barrels there are. This barrel here is a ionic barrel. You notice down here, it says critical multiplier, and right there it says times 1.10. That is a, an increase of 10%, I believe. So, Ionic Barrel increases your critical multi uh, multiplier uh, for headshots. Now, the next one is the Power Bore. Notice here it says Aim Damage and Hip Damage. That means when you scope and when you are shooting just from the hip without aiming, without pressing the aim button. And this increases both of them by, it looks like, uh, 5%. They each get a 5% increase. And the next one is Sustained Power Muzzle. And that... Oh, let me find this for you. Explain what that is. Okay. I got this chart here from uh, DefianceData.com. Alright, so we have some different assault rifles here. And here's a blast rifle, but for some reason the, info the information is not available on that blast, but the Mazu blast, blast Rifle is available, and what it shows you is the natural fall-off range, and then uh, the 80% range and max range. Up to 45 meters, it's going to do full damage. After 45 meters, the damage is going to drop off some. These mods are going to give you an additional 5 meters, the green ones. If it's a blue one or a purple, it's going to give you more, um, but it's going to make that 45 meters 50 meters. Now you get full damage out to 50 meters instead of just to 45. A lot of people don't yeah. like this mod, the sustained power muzzle, but usually with blast rifles, you're fighting up close. You're not trying to shoot people at a distance. And then we get into magazines. So that is the three types of barrels you could put on an assault rifle. You got uh, ionic barrel, increases your critical, critical uh, modifier. Power bore, it increases your aim and hip damage, but not the critical. And sustained power muzzle extends your full damage range. Now let's get into the magazine. Controlled burst magazine. I don't, I don't use this. I, I don't know why anybody would, but you might have a use for it. What it does is it takes a perfectly good, fully automatic rifle and makes it shoot in three round bursts. Brr, brr, brr or five round, whatever uh, effect it uh, has on that particular uh, gun. Uh, so I'm just gonna skip over that one. <laughs> Fast action reloader. Reload uh, times .90. What that's gonna do is it's going to reduce, when you multiply by a number that's less than one, it reduces the number uh, you get after you multiply. So it's going to give you like a 10% reduction in reload time, which means you're going to reload faster. <clears throat> That's what a fast action reloader does. The green ones give you 10%, and obviously the purple, orange ones do better than that. High capacity magazine. This one increases your magazine by 40% when you multiply by times 1.40. It's going to give you a 40% increase. That was the magazines. Controlled burst, fast action, and high capacity. Now we get into 
the sights, the scopes. Not all of them are scopes. Uh, Alright, let's look at this first one. Assault scope. And we'll just look at the effects. This one doesn't black out the, uh, the periphery. You still get a full field of view, only smaller because you're zooming in. Alright, so you can see that I'm zooming. Basically, the higher the negative number, the better it is. I'm going to say that your shots are going to be grouped closer towards the center to begin with. And that each shot has a better chance of actually hitting what you're aiming at. The lower the number, basically the more negative the number, the better your accuracy is going to be. Next one we got is the Commando Scope. This one gives you mid power. And you notice it... Uh, and uh, it gives you aim accuracy, again, of minus uh, 0 0.20. The stabilization sight. All right, this doesn't give you any additional zoom, uh, aside from what the gun comes with. What it does is it improves your accuracy, not the, not the uh, zoom accuracy, but your regular accuracy, which is when you're shooting from the hip. And it improves your movement accuracy when you're shooting and you're running. A lot of people like this one for PvP because you're moving around a lot in PvP. And we have the tactical scope. This on your assault rifle is going to give you the highest zoom. It's going to obscure the field of view. It zooms way in. Uh, and your accuracy is going to be, you know, your aim accuracy is going to go up. So, Assault Scope doesn't obscure vision, gives you uh, a low amount of zoom, a little bit more than base. The Commando Scope gives you medium zoom, it obscures vision, and gives you aim accuracy, as well as the Assault Scope. Alright, the Stabilization Sight doesn't obscure vision, doesn't zoom, it makes you more accurate while shooting from the hip and moving. And the last one, Tactical Scope, gives you the most zoom, it obscures your vision, and gives you aim accuracy when you're zoomed in. Alright, that those are the scopes and sights. Last thing we got is the stocks. I recommend the external recoil reduction. Right here, bloom and recoil. Bloom, as you hold down the trigger, the reticle gets bigger, it expands. The bloom recoil compensator, the bloom part there, makes it expand more slowly. So, and the recoil is the guns going up when you're firing. Traveling upwards, the recoil compensation makes it not go up as much when you're firing. So it stays down, pointing at your target. You got a lot of recoil compensation and a lot of bloom compensation on your external recoil reduction. The reticle is going to expand slowly, and it's not going to travel up while you're shooting. So, that's the one I always recommend. The other one is the Gorilla Buttstock. If you like hitting things with the buttstock of your, uh, with the stock of your rifle, the Gorilla ups, uh, Buttstock is going to increase your melee damage by 15%. Pretty simple. One last thing to show you. It's going to be the... Uh, ego rating and I'm gonna show you this I'm gonna just do one time because I don't want to waste a whole bunch of art forge on a rifle I'm just going to get rid of I'm going to go to first uh, I'm gonna show you the damage that this one does at its current ego rating uh, 681 times 3 uh, that's what blast rifles do because they fire three pellets at a time most blast rifles, actually. I've actually seen a few that don't do that times three damage. You notice the damage is low. It's like you're... It's like... I, I like to call it buck and ball, if you know what buck and ball is. But basically, they used to load muskets with a big ball and a couple of smaller balls. And they would uh, have a, a, a buckshot and a musket ball in there. And it would, uh, it would have knockdown power and spreading power. Uh, so anyway, this is like firing a shotgun full auto it's shooting out three pellets at a time and they're like scattering uh, that's what makes uh, blast rifles great why everybody likes them for PvP of course that's the guys that aren't using detonators or infectors or some other thing 
currently it's at 681 times 3. 681. Now, let me select that. Let me upgrade rating once for two Arc Forge. This is great about green weapons. You only got to spend two Arc Forge to upgrade the rating. Start action. Yes. Now, I upgraded it. Uh, let me find it again. Notice it's at 4,475 now. Oh, wait. I didn't need to do that. I just need to find it and show you the damage. Look. 708 times 3. That is what increasing uh, the rating does, the ego rating. It increases your damage. That's pretty much the only effect on the gun that it has. As the guns, as your ego rating goes up, you can increase the ego rating of your gun or buy another one that has a greater ego rating. As the gun's ego rating goes up, the damage goes up. Yay! With shields, it's shield capacity. With guns, it's damage. So that is everything I know about blast rifles. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you found it informative. And uh, I will see you next time.